All right, so since I'm messing with that deck over there, I figured what the heck, might as well give you an honest review on this lawnmower. So I've had it since last summer. Uh, again, it was like 1800 bucks from Lowe's. It's the Craftsman T110 with the 42-inch deck. It's got, you know, forward, neutral, reverse, a uh, little spring in the seat, some adjustment there. Uh, of course, drop your deck one through five on the height of your deck. You have, uh, these are your speeds, one through seven, one being slow, seven being fast. You have, sorry for the bad camera. Of course, your uh, forward, and then if you want to go backwards, because all the safety features they have, you have to go here while it's running, press this button, and then you can back up, and it won't stall while your deck is down. So just a safety feature. It has also a safety feature here, which I unplugged. So when you hit a bump or you get off the mower, it kills the engine. It's annoying. I don't have any kids, so uh, if I get run over, it's my own fault. But anyway, if you want to disable that, that's how you do it. At least you can hop off your mower, move a stick, and you can get back on without having to restart it. Uh, as far as under here goes, Oh, and I will say, she is a bumpy ride. Do not expect any luxury here. It is cheap, but cost is really all that mattered to me, so here we are. Uh, as far as your gas tank goes, I think it's like a gallon and a half. It's just held on by a zip tie. That's how they did it at Craftsman. Under here is just your air filter. Check your oil. Uh, you got some crummy headlights in the front, nothing special. I think they're 1156s, so they're not even like, I don't know, what to expect. Real headlights, they're just like, I think a taillight bulb. Um, <clears throat> and over here on this side, that also kind of bugged me, since I do whatever maintenance I can. Uh, you got your spark plug. Let's see. Back down in here. Oops, sorry, it's a finger. Right behind the exhaust. I guess manifold. And it is kind of hard to get to. You just gotta wait until the motor is cool to do anything like that. Or don't burn yourself. <clears throat> and then over here is your starter. Of course, this is where you add your oil. And on some models, they had like a, a rubber tube that you could like pull down. Here we have this drain plug. Which is not great, seeing how it's, you know, flush with the frame and all. I don't know what they expected you to do, except spill it everywhere. Maybe it goes down in that hole, I don't know. I haven't done it yet, probably should, but... Yeah, that's, that's kind of a pet peeve for me anyway. I thought that would be a little bit more convenient. Um, other than that, though, I mean, it's a, like I said, it's a bump, bumpy ride. It's... You know, it's a lawnmower. It does the job. Uh, I used it for a whole season. Wet grass, dry grass, tall. Didn't matter. I stalled it a couple times, hit a rock, hit a stump. The usual. And it still runs. Runs good. Other than that, yeah, it's, it's a decent mower. W would I buy it again if I had $1,800? Yeah, probably. It's brand new. You know, why not? If you had a bunch of money, I would not buy this. Not in a million years. I would get a zero turn, you know, something with suspension, perhaps. But if you're in a pinch and you got some acreage, it's something to do. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.